stop by for a workout. Carving monsters, huh? Didn't figure you for an artist. This? It's by necessity. If you know your enemy, their weak spots, maybe you live another day. <laughs> You've got a flair for the dramatic. Nothing scarier than the real thing. What will you do with it? Standard bestiaries are always some mage drawing things they've never seen, taking the piss out of it. They don't understand how when the hunt ends, and you come nose to nose with an ogre, someone's going to die. So I'm making the real Monster Hunter manual. Who are you doing it for? Balmor, that imbecile in Tevinter, lecturing on things he doesn't know about. And Ludric, over in Ravain, thinks taking a rock wraith down with a lucky shot makes him a champion. You'd think he'd know better. It's sculpting toy monsters that makes you a champion. That's right. He never understood. You're a funny one. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Okay, maybe I'm taking this a little far. But if you say you're an expert, show me some expertise. Sounds like a fun read. I'm in. You have to buy it first. Hmm. Where's the gloom howler? Can't carve it till I know what it is. You want a piece of the howler, boy? Is he ready? Was I ready the first time I fought a herlock? Well, you're still alive. I got my ass handed to me. Broke four ribs and cracked my jaw. Then I got back up and drove a blade through its skull. In this line of work, Asan and I are only as strong as the quarry we hunt. Maybe. But go easy on him. He's still getting the hang of things. He runs into an ogre. It won't care. It'll eat him for lunch. I didn't mean your lunch. Too late. You said the magic word. See you around.
travel. to think elves lived here once. Actual cities, right in the fade. It's another of those statuettes, the memory fragments. And it's unguarded? Statue was a fake, but if the fate is mostly reflections of something else, 
The real one could be close. Another of those Fen Harel altars. Tom are trying to cut us off. 
I'd say that's where we're headed. Come <laughs> on. 
Tell this statuette is the real thing. A memory fragment, and not just because it was very well guarded. Trouble nearby. More undead. It's not good. The gods must have plans for them here, too. Get ahead.
Dead. No principles are sacred when the gods demand a quick conquest. Davrin, for all your worry about me, you've got your own problems. I'll take them any day over being possessed. You're a warden. You've got actual blight inside you. So you know a few warden's secrets. Your blood reacts to dark spawn and can drive you mad when Archdemon shows up. At Rain, incoming! eventually wander alone into the deep roads to die. That's the vow I took. Until you snap. I've seen it happen. Not me. Everyone says that. I'll be watching.
Over there. That could be the haunting spirit Myrna told us about. Something about a spirit whose sleep was stolen by the gods. And now Emric says he steals other people's dreams. The pale jumpers call him the Nocturnix. My dreams. Where have they gone? We need to close these. stirring up trouble. Maybe he'll finally get the sleep that was stolen from him. Avril, you haven't asked me in a while. If you mean spite, I'm laying low. Right. Don't spook the quarry. And especially when the quarry can lie to your face. You say spite's under control, but how do I know that isn't spite talking? The wings are a giveaway. But I'm glad we're keeping you on your toes. <laughs> Look! <laughs> 
Look there. Sounded exactly like the one trapped behind that sealed door in the necropolis. You're right. Some powerful spirits can project splits of themselves. That must be what the one back home in the vaults is doing. Is there anywhere the Dreadwolf doesn't worm his way into?
<laughs> it must haunt you, Savvy. Show off. It must haunt you, Davrin, knowing the blight inside you will be your end someday. The spike could be yours. Could be. But as a Grey Warden, it will be. How do you know so much about Wardens? We've done business. They hired you? There was a contract. Were they the mark? It's complicated. Another time. These are the crows that were supposed to be picking up supplies. They were taken by surprise. Thank <laughs> you. 
Someone clearly wanted us to do something with skulls or torches or something. Might be worth looking around. Another of those Fen Harel altars. rises above the floorboards in your basement. Looks like the Antom got the supplies that were meant for the crows. Let's take back those supplies. Pay the Antom of this. <sighs> Huh. 
Doesn't mean I trust Spike. Where did he even get that from? Like we've got a door. Let's see what's on the other side.
door sealed. But I'll bet the warden's left a clue around here to open it. Can't do this without a wisp. Better be ready. The Aunt Tom kept me alive so they could use me to trick Ravain into sending more supplies. I didn't think anyone was coming. The Lord sent us. You gave the Aunt Tom nothing. Your Talon will be proud. Thank you for your timely arrival. I'll get the supplies to Treviso and pay back the Aunt Tom there. We've got a path now.
before. Though if it were, Viago would have bought it already.
There. Whatever the warden sealed, we've opened. Where is everyone? What did the Venatori do to the Shadow Dragons? let the Venatori in here. Look around. Someone might have left us a clue. He used to guard the pawn shop's entrance. Nev mentioned it. He was waiting for someone near the market. He might still be there. The killings. This is... 
I didn't know I could think even less of the Venatori. I'm almost getting used to this city again, but it still needs fewer Venatori. It's bad out here. So many dead or wounded after the dragon. Now Venatori grab anyone they please. <laughs> What was that warden business you were talking about, Lucanus? Not all of your order meets their end so... nobly. What does that mean? Some would rather leave before the blight takes them. The crows oblige. Wait. You're saying they hire you too? They're both the client and the mark. What? They make a choice. We oblige them. I don't want to know anymore. Unfortunate times we live in. Some cheese to cheer you up? The Venatory have little appreciation for fine cheeses. You know, I just don't think Halos' fish is all that special. The docks. It sounds like the Venatori tracked down Hector and took him there. Let's hurry. I don't like the tone of that note. Get ready.
executions? Clear. Still alive? Lucanus, how do you decide when one of your targets deserves to die? Usually when the client pays up front. I'm serious. Do you just kill anyone? No. There has to be merit. Merit? Who decides that? The Talon of the house. And then you just carry out the order? It's my job. Must be tough to sleep at night. Put everything into getting this space, and I'll get you into the right armor. We'll get you something just right. How? 
It's fine. There's just quite a few high bloods, and, well, I guess it's why I come down here when I have the time. It feels like I actually belong here. Hector? Damn it. We were too late. This is a message to the city. The Venatori are in charge now. Hey, Rook. I've news about Lorelei the fence. Lorelei. She ran the pawn shop. Sold things. Yes. The Venatori found her. They took her to the docks. You have to hurry. You know what they do to shadow dragons. We're on it. So I'm supposed to just accept that they're dead because of an accident, huh? you. I suppose it's not so bad here, but elsewhere in the city... You kill for a living too, Davrin. How do you sleep at night? Like a baby. The things I hunt are pure evil. Monsters. There are no shades of gray with Darkspawn. But you... Provide a service. What if your target doesn't deserve to die? Who does? Good, bad, everyone dies eventually. We just speed things up. <laughs> Could've fooled me. Ready when you are.
People are still getting over demons pouring. Did you hear? Dog spawn in Dog Town. If I'm I not can't believe how many people they executed. was hers. What did they do to her? So many people. I didn't think it could get worse. I don't think they even care if the people they're executing are really shadow dragons. It's anyone who's ever been connected to them. Or helped them. Tell me this, Lucanus. Suppose you had a contract to assassinate me. Would you take it? Depends. What did you do? Nothing. Maybe I pissed off the wrong guy at a bar. That's trivial. It's beneath it grows. What if I stole the guy's money? Then he couldn't afford to pay us. You're avoiding the question.
Grey Warden? Are you all right? You're Rook. I'm Vesta. What happened? I'm here to help the Shadow Dragons, fighting Darkspawn in the catacombs. They weren't many when we started, but then the others said to run. Get help. We can't leave the Darkspawn if they escape into the city. We won't let them. Just sit tight.
Not bad for an amateur. We're clear. All right, let's keep clearing blight from the catacombs. Thanks. Oh, that's unnerving. Forgotten relics? There's a lot left in the catacombs and the blight... It's twisting through all of it. An elevator. There's more blight where it leads. Do you get the feeling we're being watched when we're in the catacombs? There's something down here. But then, it's been with us. Who knows what's down here? Come on, show us your team. 
the last of them. We should tell Warden Vesta. Hey, we're back in Docktown proper. No problem. Vesta, we got the Darkspawn that attacked you. They won't get into the city. Thank you. The Wardens will be glad to hear it. As will the Shadow Dragons. Quillen, by the way. I'll ensure Vesta gets the healing she needs. Rest easy. Venatori causing trouble, and the people of Minrathis are desperate for any help. <laughs> that woman, what's happened? They didn't deserve this. No one does. Break those crystals! We need to get through that barrier! Venatori are dealt with. I hope whoever posted that plea for help feels safer tonight. We should check the board again. It's a good way to find people who need help. Thank you. 
Was this protection racket run by a demon? Don't give spite ideas. Do you think people knew who they were paying? Or did they find out later? This place feels laid back compared to the cobbled swan. Of course, we're not here for a tense. Up there. You got it. Everything built up around the docks here. A drink to take your mind off the world's troubles. Have a good day.
My family isn't all this evil. Find success in the In difficult times, we must surround ourselves with beauty. Prices are non negotiable. <laughs> Have you tried Zestfish on the other side of the city? He usually sets up close to the condemned pub temple. What's going on? My husband, Atticus. He was going to the snake nest, said he needed to help a friend, and he never came home. But when I ask inside, they say he never arrived. They're lying. I know it, but... What's your name? Sabina. If we learn anything, we'll let you know. So, the snake nest... I have heard of the place. A dive, but not the worst of them. It's worth checking out. Zest is good, but Hallows gives you some sauce. This is it, the snake nest. Let's look around, see what we find. This Linus, he must own the snake nest, and he knows Atticus. We're looking for someone named Atticus. Haven't seen anyone. He was meeting someone here. He disappeared. Yeah? People do that all over? Well, I'm still looking into it. I've seen your times, your business.
happened here? Blood. There's a trail. A blood-stained shirt. No tears in the fabric. The blood didn't belong to the shirt's owner. Take a look at that. Sick kid. His father thought Atticus could help, but something feels off. All right, that snake nest bartender must know something. We need to talk to her again. A man named Atticus came to the snake nest. We know he was headed here, that your boss Linus knows him. We've been to Linus's home. All right, it's the boss. He's been acting weird since the kid got sick. Urgent meetings, always checking the storage. But you're friends with Nev Gallus, aren't you? Maybe you can do something. I can let you into the storage. It's across the road. Bar storage. There has to be more here. this under the bar's storage? If that's where the quarry is, then in we go. Linus, the snake nest owner. He made a pact with the demon to save his kid. But the price, it was too high. Did the demon want blood? Or to feed off the man's desire and desperation? There's a key. We should see what else is here.
How many did he kill? All for a demon. This was Atticus. His locket. We can return it to Sabina. There. There's other ways to get into the catacombs. Question is, what will we find? A place is less predictable than the deep roads. We have company. Take it to them! Never end. Is that an elven statue? I've heard there are monsters. Dangerous beasts warped by magic. Maybe even created by it. I'm guessing the Magisterium won't admit that. Something big could hide down here and never be found.
Sabina? You're back. But... Atticus... The man who took Atticus's life... He thought it would save his child. But it wasn't right. Atticus... If there's anything you need, I have friends here in Minrathus who can help. I don't... know. I need time and... to put his name on the Wall of Light. Thank you. At least for letting me know. Dogtown's desperate are being targeted, then falling victim to demons. The Snake Nest owner. The people Compassion found. What if it's all the work of the same demon? If we keep up the work in Dogtown, maybe we'll find more. I have a cousin who lives in this part of town. Told me about the Archon's palace attacking the city. Was your cousin hurt? No. Her name. Get ahead. Another of those Fen Harel altars. Huh? <gasps> 
There's something over there. from the necropolis. Is it bribe that bought you? Do you think you could succeed in facing me where the predatory failed? demons down or two versions of the same demon they seem to die like anything else Now the serving sizes here are getting smaller. This should never happen. Not anywhere. And now a dragon. Hey, yeah. What's happening? I heard something. I wish there was something I could do. What could you do? You'd just get in the way. Let the Templars deal with it. Why did Morgan want to meet in Minrathis? Isn't she helping the Veil Jumpers in Arlathan? Indeed. But today we have a guest, and she needed the anonymity that only a city provides. Well, look who it is. Good to see you, Lace. 
Rook, you remember how Varric and I served the Inquisition? Well, this is Inquisitor Lavellin, the woman who led us all. Andara and Atashan. Anathara. I wish we could be meeting without our gods threatening to blight the world. A blight that spreads wider with each passing heartbeat. Morrigan and Harding have told me about what you've accomplished since taking over for Varric. You've put together an impressive team, and you've got the best chance, maybe the only chance, to stop Elganan and Gilanane. We've been doing what we can, but I'll be honest. Right now it feels like we're in over our heads. You've already faced setbacks. You'll face more. Your actions will have consequences. Did you see what happened to the Viper? We know all about consequences. Such thinking is a trap you can ill afford. The Viper was blighted because of Elgin and Agilinane. But the city of Treviso was saved because of you. I wasn't ready to become the Inquisitor. I wasn't ready to have to choose between helping Templars or Mages or decide the fate of every Grey Warden in Southern Thedas. Eventually, when the choices I made caught up with me, I disbanded the Inquisition rather than let it turn into another problem. Maybe someday you'll face the same situation. But I'm asking you not to worry about that future until we have one. Right now we need you to stop the gods. All right, I'll do my best. And while you do so, Rook, the Inquisitor will do her best to ensure that the rest of the world remains intact. A daunting prospect, given that most of the South is under siege by Darkspawn. It's that bad? If not for the Inquisitor, the South would have collapsed completely. She has not been idle while you assembled your team. If the South is in such turmoil, why come up here just to talk? And how did you get here so fast? Did you think you were the only one to unlock the secrets of the Illuvians? Morgan helped the Inquisition use the Illuvians to travel. While I lack the Dreadwolf's vir of us, I may still scurry between the walls of this world to be where I might do the most good. The Inquisitor asked to meet you, and I thought it might help you to meet her. I thought the gods were mostly active up here. It's really that bad in the south? Elganon and Gilanane have indeed restricted their activities to the north. But the forces they deployed to the south, the strange new darkspawn, have spread fear and corruption greater than any blight in history. Darkspawn have cut through the center of Vorlay. Valroyo and Halam Shiral are barely holding out. Ferelden would have fallen already if not for help from Orzammar. With Denerim lost, the Ferelden's are holding the line at Redcliffe. The Free Marches have the worst of it. Acting Viscount Aveline Valen led the evacuation of Kirkwall. She's taking her people and what's left of her army to help Prince Vale keep Starkhaven. Maker, we didn't know. My ma... Don't worry. I called in a favor with the Divine. Your mother's safe with some old friends. Thank you. The Inquisition might be gone, but my name still carries some weight. I've used it to get people working together where they can. Again, the South is my problem, not yours, Rook. You stop the gods, and I'll make sure the rest of Thedas doesn't fall to the Blight. I've been having trouble getting people in authority to listen to us. If you help with some of your political strength, my political strength. Tevinta hates me. The Venatori helped make sure of that. And while I have a few friends in the Wardens, their leadership hasn't much cared for me since we clashed at Adamant Fortress. The Inquisitor did not come all this way to leave you with empty words, however. She brought something no one else could. A wolf statuette? We've found others like it in the crossroads. Where'd you find yours? I found it right around the time Solus's ritual failed, when he was pulled into the Fade. We've examined the magic, and it's tied to the Veil. To him. Somehow. 
Solus is ancient, and his magic is part of him in a way far beyond that of mortals. I suggest you take it to the crossroads and see if something in the lighthouse calls to it. Perhaps it will yield some insight into your new ally. Right now, Solus is giving us the information we need to track down the gods. Yes, he is a vital source of information and advice, just as he was to the Inquisition before. He is the Dread Wolf. He led a rebellion that lasted centuries. How many alliances do you think he has made and broken? I considered Solus a friend. I'd hoped to convince him to see reason. It's too late for that now. But still, if this can give you some insight, help you understand him, whatever it turns out to be, I hope that it helps. We should go, Inquisitor. The armies in the south need you. Right. Harding, stay sharp. You're my eyes in the north. Always, Inquisitor. Rook, good luck. If I come across anything else that can help, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. Dumont's breath. I wasn't expecting to see research. There's an int- Interesting letter there, Rook.
thought about it? I think that art merchant with information on the Antom lives near here. Hello? Are you alright? Um, then the brutes left to get more reinforcements against the single woman. Would you be a dear and clear away all the wreckness by the door? What is this to the Antam have with an art gallery? Done. I love the door. Come in, please. My saviors, welcome. Viago said you had information on the Antom. Are they after you? They barricaded me in and said I would starve unless I handed over the contents of my gallery. Lately, they've been taking paintings, sculptures, all sorts of treasures. <sighs> and to think I overheard someone in the market yesterday bragging about dealing with the atrocious brutes. The market master might know more about what those dreadful Antam are up to. I'm in your debt. Please, look around. Those Antam villains haven't shown up again, to my relief. I'm surprised people are doing normal business during an occupation. Feels crowded like a city always does. Anything here speak to your aura? Now, Lapis, that's a scholar's stone. Helps with focus and concentration. All right, we should talk to the market master if we want to learn why Antom are stealing pieces of art. Hello. This might sound strange, but I was told you might know about Antom stealing paintings. It's bad for business, and somebody here knows something. Everyone notices the master of the market. But you, stay hidden. Listen near the stores. You might learn something about our Antam art collectors. Let's listen carefully around the market. Don't want to scare anyone off. Busy as anything, but no hope to be found anywhere. The Antam have scared people off, but the crows are after him. 
You'll see. Greetings. How's business? Hmm. Can't complain. I just assume that is what you crows do. What can I get you? The Antam remind me of my husband. He was an heir. But I mean, Antam, I didn't think they went in for things like fancy paintings. I wouldn't know anything about... Hmm. Well, that would explain the Antam who came by not an hour ago. They took my best sculpts without paying. Huh. Right here. Oh, yes. I did hear they've been piling up stolen goods in a camp in the Drowned District. The Antam aren't exactly being subtle anymore. It cannot be for coin. There are faster ways to fill their coffers. That merchant said they're stockpiling stolen art at a camp in the Drowned District. Let's start there. Let me know if I can help. Come take a look if you like. Yes, of course. Come to make more trouble? Can't you crows contain yourselves to the diamond? It's not your business, but I'm not a crow. Then you should be more selective about the company you keep. Responding to the butcher requires a properly appointed leader. One who will make proper decisions. Treviso requires governance. Yep. Some of the finest duelists in Treviso wear my leathers. Oh, you have a keen eye. Close to that camp where the Antons took that merchant's stolen sculptures. Ah! 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 Ah!
Let's look around for that stolen art, or any sign of what the Antom are doing with it. Nothing here. No luck here either. Strange. You'd think a few statues would stand out. Still nothing. I don't see anything that merchant in the market was talking about. No stolen art. We should go back and talk to him. If the crows can free us from a dragon, they can free us from the Antam. I heard they... Everybody here used to sneer at Kanadi inside the bar. Now the Antam are in charge, and these horns are my ticket to better things. You know, we get Antam in here too.
That merchant who said the Antom stole his artwork. He's with the Venatori. I'll bet he caught us listening in. Damn it. Bet he took off the second we left the market. The note said the Antom are trading the art to Venatori collectors in exchange for rare magical components. Ma okay, we're close to the camp where Antom are trading with the Venatori for magical components. Let's find out what the Antom and the Venatori are actually doing here. This note is about Gatlock. That Kunari blasting powder. The Antom are using magical components from the Venatori to make it more explosive. Much more explosive. That's the last thing Treviso needs. We must go to Dea and Viago with this as soon as possible. Agreed. journal about seeing Venatori and Crow meeting spots. Useful to know. Let's dig around some more. Good news? The Venatori are helping the Anton make their Gatlock explosives even more powerful. What? It's not ready yet. They're still experimenting. Then we have some time. The crows will investigate. We had better. I am sure we'd be among the Antam's first targets. Stock up with whatever you need. Safe travels.
Tori dropped a note. Hmm. A Venatori traitor? Good to know. Something's up with the crows and Venatori. The journal belongs to a crow named Chance. We'll look for them around the diamond. Maybe they know what this is about. Are you Chance Candide? Found your journal. Couldn't help reading something about Venatori. Ah, you've become embroiled in our local mystery. If you wish to help, let me shed some light. Venatori were spotted lurking in places where the crows conduct confidential business. What can we do? It would be a great help if you could search near our dead drops in the flooded district. That's where Venatori were last spotted. Please look for any clues as to what our spies are after. Wine glasses, like people were toasting a deal. Not a vintage I've seen on any crow table. But that means little if they were keeping a low profile or have poor taste in wine.
The Chantry over there used to be the preferred meeting spot for our clients before the invasion. I much prefer their open air structures. Or no structures at all. Drowned District has had other names, but none stuck, and Thievens love drama. Why build it if you won't keep it up? Why is this butcher always talking? He's got the city. What more does he want? Don't ask me. What's the point of a city if it isn't dry? It will eventually be lost to the waves, or a Dalin will build a villa here. You can never tell. Come <laughs> on. 
Not hard to see what parts of Treviso are cared for. Can't blame this on the occupation. My grandfather was a tailor for the crows. The Antam killed him, but I am here, and so are the crows. Treviso will be free. Of course, whatever you need. The crows have been setting people free from the Aunt Tom's cages. For now. Another secret note between a crow and a venatori. That's our third note by these crow and venatory spies. Half of these letters are written in a cipher I can't make out. Let's talk to Chance. Chance? We found notes from the Crow and Venatory spies, but parts of them are in code. Ah, thank you. This may yet help trace their movements. Give me a while to break the cipher on these letters.
over there. Another entryway. Like the one that took us to that soulless memory. Another ancient elf. You're awake. How's your head? The guards really knocked you about. Well, it's... Do you remember our mission? Gillanane's lab. The wolf sent us to infiltrate her testing grounds. Things didn't go perfectly to plan. But the wolf smuggled in help. A key. If you can fight, grab the key and we'll run for it. Just be ready for whatever the witch has in store. She thinks I'm one of Solus's agents. Ah, freedom. We'll move faster if we split up. See you ahead. Light. Be careful. It feels older here. More primal. Remember, these memories pack a punch. <laughs> Experimenting with Blight and Darkspawn. The Blight infested her lab. The memory's not over. We need to fight our way out of here before Gillanane finds us. Wolf! You came for us. Your key was enough. This unnatural corruption demanded my personal attention. It is... strong. It has already blocked the escape route I had planned. We will need another way to the surface. Let's all split up and find it. I will destroy what corruption I can. You must cut through these monstrosities before Gillanane unleashes something worse. Solus sounded... rattled. The blight shook him up. and choose to destroy it? Learn respect for the life that will succeed you. She's using the testing grounds against us. Go. Free. And faster than anticipated. Perhaps you and your allies warrant more study.
company. Specimens. These darkspawn may be an old memory, but they look familiar. Here, the blessing you deny. Wolf, help me! Ah! Damn, Gillen ain't got her. Blood, I'm burning up! Look out! You would unleash a blight on this world and call it a masterwork! You, who are the most sensitive of us! All that I am belongs to the pursuit of creation. You chose to constrain yourself. I must climb to the heights only understood by gods. I go now to join them. Wolf. <laughs> You are greater than any of them. Please... help me. Come on. Be the god she needs. Help her. I am so sorry I failed you. There is only one way I can help you now. Wolf. This place... And the corruption within it must be eradicated. No trace can be allowed to spread. Go. Your work here is done. There is no need for you to witness what I must do. It's over. Solus destroyed the lab, the Blight that was here, and his agent. If I really thought I could stop the Blight for good, I wonder what I would have done. This fragment might tell us more.
You cannot do this, Algernon. You swore that we would give up our commands when this horrific war was over. Our people need our leadership. If you're unwilling, leave. Our people must rebuild, and we must help unite them. So, we did not fight for freedom, but to conquer this land and our own. We fought to win, and now the Evanuris are as gods. I do not answer to Mythal's annoying lapdog. The people are afraid. They must believe in something. They need strength. And wisdom. They need gods who can protect them. We are not gods. You will learn that. Every lapdog hides a wolf inside. That was strange. They were speaking Elvin, but I understood it. I believe we have experienced a memory in each of our native languages. Not just any memory. One of the Dreadwolves. And the mages who declared themselves my gods? Well, mine and Davrin's, and Rook's. There they are, the Elven creators. You know how many Dalish legends I learned? Parables I was supposed to learn from? Kinda hard to take them seriously, now that I've seen all the politics. I wish they were monsters. Something grand and terrible. Seeing them like that, they're no better than Tevinter nobles. But no worse, either. They were people. And people can let you down. Alright, what else can we take from this memory? Elgrinon was hungry for power. Did anything he could to get it, and to hold on to it. Then Solus, furious at Elgonon's installing himself as a despot, started his rebellion. There's another moving part in this. Mithal. She was keeping the peace. Mithal and Solus were close. The Inquisition found a temple to Mithal, and there were wolf statues everywhere. Then she sides with Elgonon over him. A betrayal. Sounded like Solus was loyal to Mythal. What did Elgernon call him? Mythal's lapdog? And then she grabs power alongside Elgernon instead of standing for her principles. I'd be angry too. Angry enough to start a rebellion? That's not how he'd see it. He didn't destroy the world. Elgernon did. Solus did what he considered necessary to stop him. Solus would try to justify what he did, but he'd also blame himself for what happened. Perhaps these murals aren't simply memories. They're what Solus wishes to forget. His regrets. That means they're a way to learn his weak points. Why are we worried about Solus? He's trapped. Right. But the Dread Wolf was the god of trickery. He's looking for a way out. Bet on it. Meanwhile, keep your eyes open in the crossroads. If there's a way to restore the rest of these murals, Solus would have kept it in his hideaway. It'd be nice to get inside his head for a change. I was not certain you would come. You were the one who walked away. I never turn my back when my friend needs me. The Avenue received the magic of the Blight. Impossible. The Blight is safely sealed away forever. No, oh, I wish I could believe you. I have sensed the breaking of the wards. I will investigate your claims. If they forget the danger of the Blight, I will endeavor to remind them. What if, instead, you left the Evanuris? remained with me. Do you not wish for freedom from this struggle? 
Be at peace, love. I will stop them. As you must. The blight is our mistake. Did Mithal call Solas love in that memory? That's what it sounded like. So they were doing it. The elven gods were free with their emotions. They felt things deeply. The way they expressed things, well, it feels romantic to us, but that wasn't really how it was. Back then, I mean. Nah, they were doing it. As someone who has Solas talking in my dreams, I'm with Ballara. I just can't see Solas carrying on a secret affair with Mythal. Can't because you don't think he would? Or can't because you don't want to think about it while he's in your head? Yes. So the Dread Wolf goes to Mythal. They might be fighting, but they have history. And he warns her about the other gods using the Blight. That's more important than his rebellion. It's like kingdoms coming together when an Archdemon rises. Mithal didn't think it was possible. She said the Blight was sealed away. There's an old legend about it, Davern. The one with Andruul's armor? Not sure it matters. I've heard that story too. The armor of the Void, right? Yes, Andruul, the goddess of the hunt, put on armor made of something called the Void, and it drove her mad. And the other gods were worried because she was doing horrible things. Sounds like an elven god twisted by the corruption of the Blight. Right. And then Mithal turned into a dragon and fought Andruul in a huge battle. She what? Why didn't you start with that? Anyway, she took Andruul's armor away. Then Andruul's madness left, and peace returned. Intriguing. So it's possible Andruul stumbled onto the magic of the Blight. And when Andruul went mad, Mithal took it from her and locked it away. Until someone started using it again. Okay, Solus warns Mithal about the other gods using the Blight. It's not just bad, it's something bad he feels responsible for. The Blight was our mistake. How is the Blight their mistake? Did they find it? Did they make it? What does that mean? Whatever it was, it convinced Mithal to take him seriously. So Mithal goes off to investigate what Solus says. Then, what? It's too clean. Seems plenty messy with them doing it. But this isn't just a memory. It's something Solus wanted to hide. What's the crime? What did we see here that he feels guilty about? I think I might know. When the Inquisitor was saving the world from the Breach, she met Mithal. What? Like in a dream? It was complicated. She helped the Inquisition. There was a magic pond and a dragon. Nice! The point is, she also said the other elven gods betrayed her, killed her. Okay, sorry, point of order. If they killed Mithal, how was she still around to help the Inquisition? Elven god magic? She'd spent centuries gathering strength and sharing people's bodies, I think. If it was a truly benign possession, that speaks to her character. Solus tried to do the right thing by warning Mythal about the other gods using the Blight. But he got her killed. Well, it's not just that she died. What do you mean, Tosh? It's... Ugh. There was stuff he wanted to tell her. But he waited too long. And then she was dead. He never got to make it right. That twists you up. That's it. There's our crime. Doesn't really tell us anything we can use, though. We know more than we did. That's something. Then I guess we keep our eyes open if we come across more of these memories.
You dare to try to cage us, jealous of our growing power? You will pay the final price for this betrayal. We warned you not to use the Blight. For this, and for Mathol, I sentence you to sleep in exile ever after. Your own lives will form the veil that keeps the horror you unleashed at bay. So he locked the gods away and created a veil between this world and the Fade. I mean, they were terrible, no question. But what he did, it didn't just stop them. It destroyed our culture, our world. It wasn't just to stop them. It was to stop the Blight. We've seen how bad Elganon and Gilanain are. Imagine all seven corrupted gods running wild. So he created the veil just to keep the elven gods locked in their prison? Yes, to keep them from accessing the Fade, but was the creation of the Veil around the world an accident? You heard him yelling. That's not the sound of a ritual going right. What do you think, Rook? I've spent a lot of my time in the Veil Jumpers studying the remnants of the Elven Empire. I get why he did it. If I were there, I might have fought at his side against the gods. But accident or not, necessary or not, my people lost their world that day. That's never going to be easy. Yes, that, exactly. I had another question, and I'm sorry, maybe this doesn't matter, but... Solus trapped the blighted gods in an ancient elven building, right? That's what it looks like. Maybe a palace? Fancier than what I've seen in Arlathan, at least. And then, the Magisters were lured into the Fade. They broke in, which let the Blight escape, and turned the Golden City black. Right, and the Black City hangs in the Fade, a little reminder of their mistakes. What's wrong, Lace? It's just... the Chant of Light says that the Maker built for them the Golden City, the center of all creation. But if the Golden City was an ancient elven palace, then the Maker didn't build it. The elves did. The Chant of Light is Andraste's visions from the Maker, but it sounds like it's... wrong. You're asking if we just disproved the entire Andrastean faith. Did we? The Maker was never my faith, Lace. But I'm sorry this is hard for you. The Chant of Light has seen many iterations over the centuries. This may simply change our understanding of it. But... this was the one I grew up with. My Ma still sings the chant. You know? The Dalish clans are struggling with the same thing. What do we keep? What do we lose? The Elven Gods, the Maker... No matter who you light a candle to, You've got some hard questions to ask yourself right now. Doctrine is not the truth. It is one of many paths to the truth. I recognize the sentiment, though not the specific quote. Who said that? My mother. Ah. Questions of faith aside, we have some very real gods that still need killing. Looks like there are three more of these murals with the Dreadwolf's old memories. Wonder what else he's hiding.
You have so long observed the world. Why not consider joining it? But I have no desire to live as humans. I have the Fade. Besides this talk of taking on a solid form, I think you underestimate the danger. When you took the glowing stone to build your body, did the earth not shake? Delirium gives us the strength we had when we were of the Fade. We are the best of physical and spirit. I need your wisdom, Solus, to withstand the louder voices who would go too far like Elganon. I need you. This is madness. You must know that. I will always follow where you go. This is astounding. The ancient elves were spirits who voluntarily manifested a physical form. I'd rather go back to talking about the Blight. Hey, Lucanus, could Spite turn into an elf? No. Sorry, but... what? This is... I just... Are all elves spirits somehow? Am I a spirit? To be clear, this memory only shows that the first elves originated from spirits. You three are no more spirits than anyone else conceived naturally. Conceived naturally? Guess I'll go ask my mother. The knowledge that an entire people were formed from a mass manifestation could change our entire understanding of magic. If we let it out, is that the right call? Do you want bigoted humans yelling about how elves are demons? Davrin's got a point. World's not short on small-minded humans. If the world learned about this and it led to attacks against elves... Elves have enough trouble as it is down in Ferelden. We have to tell someone, though. Strife and Irulan, at least. If I told Thea and Viago, they'd think I was sampling Viago's poison collection. No one will believe us. Okay. We keep this to people we trust who have good reason to know. No shouting it from the rooftops. Agreed. The Morn Watch has a great deal of experience keeping dangerous secrets. So, beyond the world-shaking stuff, what else did we learn here? Solus himself was a spirit. What kind do you think he was? Well, his name is Elvin for pride. Oh, okay. There's something else. Not about spirits, or not all about them at least. Solus didn't want to become a person with a physical body. Right. He only agreed after Mathal begged him. Then that's his regret. He wishes he'd never taken physical form. Maybe, but not just that. Solus was scared. They built their bodies out of lyrium, and it made the ground shake. Lyrium is the blood of the Titans. The Titans would have felt it as an attack. They defended themselves. The first memory we saw, with Elgernon seizing power, it happened at the end of a war. A war between the Titans and the Elves. Lace, I'm so sorry. It feels like we still don't have the full picture. But I think that's part of what Solus regrets. He didn't see the danger. Except he did. He was worried. You said it yourself. He did it for Mithal. Everything that followed, he could have prevented. If he just told her no. Then he's got a war on his conscience. Plus whatever we find next. Have you created what we need? With this, the proper ritual will sunder every titan from its spirit. But you must know those severed dreams will certainly be driven mad. A disembodied blight of pain and anger. It is awful. 
What are we doing? And the only way to end this war. Solus made the weapon that killed the Titans. No, not killed. He cut away their dreams and left them broken and mindless. He passed me in the halls of Skyhold for a year. He made polite conversation, and he knew. He knew what he did. Lace, what my people did to yours, that's unforgivable. You don't need to apologize. Well, someone should. Our leaders attacked the Titans for their lyrium. Then, when the war turned against the Elves, our leaders did this. And when the war was over, they enslaved your ancestors. No. Solus, Mithal, and Elgernon are the ones who need to apologize. To do such a thing? No wonder regret eats away at Solus. No, it's worse than that. That isn't what Solus regrets. Those severed dreams will be driven mad. A disembodied blight of pain and anger. Mierda. You can't. That's not possible. When a warden hears the calling, it's like a song in their mind. Sound familiar to you, Lace? The song of Lyrium. Of the Titans. We think of the Blight as this monstrous force with no mercy, no compassion. Evil incarnate. Instead, it's a caged animal. Mistreated and imprisoned for centuries. Until all it knows is fear. If the Blight is the Titan's dreams, can we... I, I don't know, heal it? Bring it back from all that anger? I'm afraid I have no idea. In theory, it would be possible to restore dreams to the Titans. You can't set it free before it's healed. You'd have blighted Titans laying waste to the entire world. The Titans are a problem for later. We have Elgernon and Gilanane to deal with now. And then I want Solus to look me in the eye and answer for what he did. Each of these memories has been a deeper regret, and almost all of them involve Mithal. Only one mural left to uncover, by my count. If we find it, we'll see what's worse than this. I knew that you would find me, soon enough. You need the power of a god. The strength that I alone still carry. The blighted Evanuris will soon break free from their prison. I must make a stronger one that can contain them. While the prison is important, it is not the only goal you seek. Why should I not tear down the veil and bring back immortality to all the elven people? They deserve it. The elven people of today do not deserve to see the world they love be torn apart to salve your conscience. I must fix what I have broken. I am sorry. As am I, old friend. Solus killed Mithal? After all that? Is this another memory from a different time? No. He wore that same outfit in the Inquisition. We knew Solus woke up in this world without most of his power. Now we know how he got it back. By killing the only other god around and stealing her power. All that epic magic and godly power. In the end, it comes down to love and murder. Same as always. Every big mistake Solus made is tied to Mithal. He sacrificed his life as a spirit to join her. 
He sacrificed his morals when he created the dagger to stop the Titans. When the other gods struck her down, he destroyed the Elven Empire to avenge her. Then he wakes up in this world, where everything's gone but his mistakes. And there she is, alive. And after all he's done, she sides against him again. All these mistakes are his fault. And hers, too. If she won't help him fix the world, of course he has to kill her. So, how does everything we know help us now? He's being honest about fighting the Blight. Whatever happens, he won't risk letting it back out into the world. Agreed. But he has a plan to escape that prison, and not one we'll like. He turned on Mithal, the one person he was actually loyal to. There's no way he won't turn on us. He's a spirit, or was once. He might be able to possess someone, affect minds, all the things spirits do. He created the Veil. His very nature is tied to it. That will be a source of strength, but also a potential weakness. Mithal has them all messed up. Anything about her or Elgernon is going to make him angry. Sloppy. Solus thinks he knows what's best for everyone. Anything he does, he'll do while telling himself he's the hero. Solus has caused a lot of damage. But he's not like Elgernon, trying to wreck the world to rule it. He's trying to repair the damage he caused. And he knows he's made mistakes. There might be hope for him. You don't think he'll turn on us? No, he's totally going to turn on us. I mean, after that. You have witnessed the Protector's tale, Dweller. Almost to its end. Almost? How can there be more? When the mighty fall, their echoes cross the ages. An audience is warranted. Speak with your visitor. She awaits you in the crossroads. I cannot say. Who created you? I cannot say. What can you say? I cannot say. Right. Deserve that. Got the Archive Spirit working, I see? Rook, you're here. And I did. Sort of. A little bit. It appears, but it won't tell me anything. You simply ask the wrong questions. A common affliction of the weak-minded. Also that, it's kind of mean. I thought it was just an archive. How can it be mean? The creator, its creator, I mean. An archive spirit takes on the personality of whoever makes it. Which, okay, that's an idea. Syrian learned a lot, taught me a lot about these archives. They have, well, not thoughts like us, but sort of pathways, I guess. They can only respond to specific questions worded in specific ways. So, if you're powerful, like almost God-level powerful, how would you talk to someone you see as lesser? Really condescendingly, based on experience so far. 
Right. You wouldn't ask questions. You'd tell them what to do. So let's try that. Archive, tell me who built you. One of the greatest of Elvenan, a steward of her glory. Truly, I was blessed to bathe in his warmth. Anaris built me, and to him I shall someday return. You mean the Forgotten One? I cannot say. Good point. That was us. What do you mean by, that was us? The Dalish call them that. Forgotten ones, I mean. I don't know what they were before. You weren't supposed to speak their names or else they'd come for you. Remember the nursery rhymes? You know, unlike the upstanding Gilanane or Elgernon. So who knows what they really were? The forgotten ones. They used to say Solus was one, so best case scenario, like him? Worst case, well, you heard it talk. Right. So this thing's dangerous if it belonged to one of them. Could be, but still important and invaluable. Everything Anaris knew, this thing knows, and my people deserve to know. If I can get it to tell me... Archive, tell me about the Evanuris. A group of cowards, hiding behind their more powerful magic and superior numbers. Their jealousy of Anaris was palpable. Their war is unending. But Anaris will prevail. Archive, tell me about the Dread Wolf. An ideologue and a fool who will soon pay the price. When Anaris dispatches the Evanuris, he will spare a thought for Fen Harel. You've got a chance to learn more about our people. Go for it. Just be careful. And try not to break anything. Right. Thanks, Rook. All thanks must be given to Anaris, for he will cast down the oppressive Evanuris and take his rightful place. What a shame. I can't stay longer. Good luck. Appreciate the support. Hi. Is there something you need? I thought you might want someone to talk to. Oh, Ruck. That's sweet. I'm fine. Really. Really? Okay. Well, we're all here if you... Never mind. I can't lie. I feel awful. It's Solus's memory, isn't it? They stole Titan blood to walk the world like humans. And when the Titans didn't like that, they just took their spirits. Should I be angry or sad? Why aren't I angrier? It's a lot to handle. This might be silly, but I'm sorry for what my gods did. <laughs> You're not them, and I'm not really the Titans. But thank you for saying that, Rook. It's strange. I don't hate Solas for this, even though a part of me thinks I should. I don't even want revenge. Revenge won't bring the Titans back. It can't erase what happened. And the Inquisitor thinks Solas can be saved. And I want to try. But I... I just want to talk. As equals. I wonder if he's even capable. Solas was always distant. Guess it's hard to react when a magic rock's talking at you. Anyway, thanks for checking on me. I'll be all right. I know. You're Lace Harding, child of Titans. You can handle anything. 
<laughs> oh, shut up. It looks like our boy Hassan is feeling his oats. Or whatever griffins feel. He's getting the hang of it. When he listens. He seems to be able to handle himself so far. You got lucky the Gloomhowler didn't tear you to pieces, boy. You wait for my command. We attack together. Then we can kill stuff like that. At least he's learning. The instincts kick in. Griffins see darkspawn and it's a fight to the death, like wolves hunting deer. Just need to corral it. Deer don't bite back. Darkspawn do. But darkspawn can't fly. Every muscle in him, every talon, every feather, honed into a killing machine. Hassan's ancestors took on archdemons. Like his name says, he's an arrow. Half lion, half eagle, with the instincts of both, griffins will always be hunters. Just like his daddy, Daverin. <laughs> I suppose we are our nature. Not sure about that? Most of my life I've hunted the darker things in the world. But caring for a griffin? What do I know about that? Yet here I am. That's not so bad, is it? Not the path I expected. Makes me wonder about his son, his brothers and sisters. Still young. Pure. You're worried? I'm responsible for the future of every griffin alive. I want it to be a good one. These animals live to fight. But I wonder if there's another path for them. I'd like to think everyone can find a new path, even griffins. Just wish I knew what it was. Doesn't every good parent? Parents, a scary word. I'm supposed to be his bodyguard. What do you think you've been doing this whole time? Trying to ignore it. If I get myself killed by a herlock, that's on me. If it's a son, I just don't want to mess it up. I think that's where trust comes in. That Turlum idea you keep talking about. Trust Asan to find his way. Don't force things. He's headstrong. <laughs> Good thing you are too. <laughs> right. Thanks for the chat. Nev, settling back in? More or less. Lots to catch up on, but when isn't there? I'm ready to get back to work. If we could skip the personal catch-up. Not the day for it. Take all the time you need.
Rook, interested in visiting the Memorial Gardens? What are you up to? I must tend to some rites in the necropolis. I'd like to show you its more peaceful side. Well met, Brook. How did you get here? I did tell you I had my ways through Alluvians when I introduced you to the Inquisitor, did I not? The Alluvians in general, yes. But not the Dreadwolf's Crossroads. I would think you have more pressing questions at the moment. Questions about Solus and Mithal? Mithal? The two gods have always been linked, have they not? First, when Mithal bade her companion spirit to abandon the Fade and take on mortal form. Then, when Solus spilled Mithal's mortal blood, that he might absorb her power as his own. Wait, how do you know exactly what we saw of Solus's past? Think upon it, Rook. You saw for yourself in the Dreadwolf's memories. When Mithal stood against the gods' manipulations of the Blight, she was betrayed and struck down. Yet she survived, and returned ages later to aid the Inquisition in its hour of need. How? The Elven Gods had access to magic beyond anything we can imagine. To be sure, but it matters less what they possessed than what they were. You recall that the first Elves were spirits, do you not? Mithal was a spirit turned elven, and when her body was struck down to spirit, she returned, her essence sheltered in a willing mortal vessel. Over the centuries, she journeyed from host to host, slowly amassing her former power anew, until once again she was struck down, on this occasion, by Solus. He absorbed her power, but not her memories. Then where did they... Wait... You? As you say. Your Mythal? That's why the ambient magic around you is so fractured. Such a flattering picture you paint of this ancient bond. What? That was like how Elgernon and Gillenin can talk in your head. But... Twas Mathal you heard. Her echoes. Yet I am not the goddess returned. What are you then? I once feared Mithal would consume me were I to carry her, but t'was not so. I remain free-willed and mortal. What I now possess is but a spark of Mithal, 
shadowed memories through which to sift for meaning. As to our admixture, I suspect you have questions? You would have met Solus in the Inquisition, right? I did indeed. Twas before I possessed Mithal's memories. At the time, I thought Solus a scowling elven apostate whose sole passion was finding arguments. He heard me, in all my ignorance, expound on the histories of the elven people, explaining legends he had witnessed himself. Bet he loved that. Tis not a memory that brings me pride. Do you have information we can use against Gilanane or Elgernon? Or Solus? The last time Mathal faced Elgernon and Gilanane, she was struck down by the very dagger you now carry. What about Solus? You may recall he murdered Mathal's former host to claim her godly might as his own. I hoard no untapped magical secrets, Rook. What I do possess, I share freely with you and the Veil Jumpers. All right. So, there's the soul of an elven god inside you. How does that even happen? Mathal's last host was my mother, Flemeth. Oh. When I learned she intended me to become the next receptacle of an ancient god's soul, I feared naught would be left of my own. It inevitably came to pass on a deep night. I was awakened by the presence of a blaze of magic in the shape of a woman who both was and was not my mother. I don't think I'd recover from that. Neither did I, at the start. Mathal's memories were both gift and burden, this blazing woman told me. But I must accept them of my own accord. The decision was paralyzing. What would it mean to become such a host? What would be lost if I refused? In the end, it was something in my mother's voice which guided me. What was that? Regret. Not the regret of a god, but of a mother who knew she would never see me again. And so, my mind remains my own. What I gained was knowledge, both Mathal's and of those who bore her. How can you carry Mithal's soul if you're not an elf? Her spark has sheltered within both elves and humans who were sympathetic to her in thought and circumstance. Mathal's last host was a woman wronged, trapped by those sworn to love her. We may readily imagine their kinship. fall of our civilization, the wars, everything elves went through. Where was Mithal for us then? After the gods' betrayal, she was a shadow of her former self, bereft of her power, slowly regaining her strength over the centuries. So she aided the elves as she could, speaking in dreams and offering counsel that ended blights and prevented wars. <sighs> At least now we know. You didn't come out here just to tell me you're Mithal. I am not Mithal in her entirety, but yes. The Dreadwolf has occasion to visit you in dreams, where he portions out advice. And now, after finding his memories, you have peered into his deepest sorrows. Tell me then, what do you make of Solus? I should ask you. Mithal knew Solus better than anyone. I would influence your answer. Or do you mean to discover if I would stand directly against the Dread Wolf were there a need? Would you? I shall aid you in any way but that, even had I the power. What has passed between Solus and Mithal? I beg you, do not ask this of me again. Solus has done terrible things. 
What he did to Varric. What he did to Mithal. What he would have done to the whole world. But it's not because he's just trying to rule the world. He's trying to fix things. He's helping us now. Tis true. His intentions were always pure. Whatever his actions may have been. Tis not malice which made Solus your opponent, but conviction. A belief that only he may halt what he set in motion. Yet Solus was once beloved of Mithal. Tis his very loyalty and love for his people that led to the tragedy we now face. You may be in a position to determine how it ends, more so than either of you might realize. Maybe there's a way we all get what we want. Do you truly believe such a thing? Well, maybe at least what we deserve. If you would shape the outcome of your battle, I've one last secret to share. When Mathal was struck down by the other gods, it was with her own Lyrium dagger, the dagger you now carry. Solus recovered it from Elgonon, and from it extracted a fragment of Mathal that had lain hidden within its depths. This fragment, a younger sister to the one I carry, if you will, resides here, in the crossroads. I can open the way for you, find her, survive the encounter, and the essence you obtain will aid you in times to come. Another fragment of Mythal? In addition to the one inside you? You are aware of what the word fragment means, are you not? One small piece of many, formed when something greater is broken. The first elves were spirits, as you well know, and when a spirit is broken, it may shatter into pieces, each holding part of the original. Among the ancient elves who became known as gods, Dirthamon and his brother, Falondine, are but one example. You make it sound like this piece of Mythal is going to attack me. You know Solus, and have seen Elgonon, and memories of Mythal. They are creatures of emotion, as all spirits are. The fragment of Mythal that resides in me lived among mortals for thousands of years. She has grown wiser and more patient. This younger sister has not. She is the essence of Mythal as a god. She is unlikely to listen to polite requests, and though she is but a fragment of the goddess, the battle will test you sorely. If she's just going to attack us, why tell us about her at all? We have enough enemies already. A fragment of a god's essence is a powerful thing. It may give you options against Algonan and Gelanane, or against the Dreadwolf himself, should he prove as cunning and treacherous as ever. If I were to try to talk with her, do you have any suggestions? She will demand respect, but detest flattery. She appreciates righteous anger, but will not tolerate pity. She is, for want of better phrasing, prickly. But if you are determined to try, then I wish you luck. You would know this aspect of Mythal better than anyone. Could you try talking to her? I dare say she would attack me on sight. Spirits can't get along with fragments of each other? Spirits, certainly. But the aspects of a self-righteous god who have walked different paths for ages? One bears the insult of her betrayal by the Evanuris, and then by Solus, as fresh wounds, insult upon injury. The other, once fell in love with an Alamari chieftain and lived happily in a swamp for centuries. Each reminds the other that another path existed, that they could have been wrong, and nothing angers Mathal like being wrong. What kind of spirit was Mathal before she became an elf? I know Solus is elven for pride. Mithal enjoyed ruling and having power, but it came not from the overweening desire to crush resistance, as is the case with Algernon. The emotion that inspired her might best be described as benevolence, a guiding hand inclined to kindness. 
but like any spirit, when angered or twisted against her purpose, a more violent aspect arose. Where the Dreadwolf's wisdom gave way to pride when the world did not meet his standards, Mathal's benevolence gave way to retribution. After all, when kindness fails, the guilty must be punished. Thank you for the information, Morrigan. There is one more thing, if I may. Something whispered not by myself, but Mathal. The elves have learned many of the glories and horrors of ancient Elvenan. Yet your people live in this world now as the old elves never could. Know it as they could not. There is your strength. Tis why you shall surpass what came before one day. Did Mithal see this? Is it a prediction? A hope from a mother to her distant children no less beloved than any before them. Another Fenharel altar. On your guard.
of those Fen Harel altars. Every time we destroy a blight growth, I feel like I need a bath. Not a pleasant sight. Another tendril gone. Don't let it get on you. Clear. not growing back.
I was afraid of this. The Darkspawn are spreading the Blight a lot further than before. Those tendrils we saw leave right here. That many bones means that something bad happened here. Unbind this path, Dweller. Seek what is hidden. Everything in the Fade is magic, a reflection. Don't think of it like the real world. There. Another blighted fade tear. That's where we're headed.
better be ready. Rook, welcome to the Hosberg Wetlands. I'd say make yourself comfortable. This place is... Foreboding? Yes. Well, foreboding is normal here, but it's worse than usual. The Blight's always a problem in the Anderfels. It's not strange to find a corrupted patch of forest or swamp. What is strange is the sudden surge of blight through the Hosberg Wetlands. Much like the village you found, the blight here struck too quickly, and in strange forms. It's choked the whole area, and the local village, Lavendel, was caught in it. But they're survivors. We can be grateful for that. If the blight keeps spreading, we could lose everything. You said what came next would be bad. That's why we're here. To help. As far as we can tell, the gods you're chasing weren't here directly. If the Blight's really changed, then the changes are widespread. As for how much? I... I can almost sense something in there. Another sound under the Blight's usual song. Stories say Wardens sense Blight. I never thought it was literal. It happens when you join the Order. But that's more than I should say. When we met... You tried to block the sound out. Now you hear too much. If it helps, that's what we're here for. Should I be worried? About me? No. About the Blight? Yes. But you already are. We heard rumors of the Surge here and volunteered to investigate. The First Warden expects a report. Soon. If we want proof the Blight's changed, then this place is where to find it. But the way the Blight left the village, we've had our hands full just keeping it back and helping the sick. You need more to study. Yes. The odd growths the Blight has formed, like boils, they surround Lavendel. I need more samples. So you two study the Blight? Formally? No. Well, maybe. It depends on your definition. We travel a lot, and tend to get sidetracked by weird problems. Who knew I'd roam so far for Marley? If we want to help, we need to learn what we're dealing with. I'll see what I can do. This place is lucky to have you. Trying to make us like you? 
Is it working? <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'll give you something to contain the blight. Oh, and watch for Darkspawn. Can't sing our praises if you're dead. Good point. See you soon. Need something? Good day. All right, let's find those boil samples. Looks like there's caves on the far side of the village. We can start there. village. Whatever happened here looks like Demeta's crossing. It's still standing, and I'll fight to keep it that way. There. That's our blight boil. Got a sample. I'm guessing they'll need more than one. Knowing how Antoine experiments. Yes. Here they come. Watch out! Behind! Sample.
right? I've had some practice in this. crossing now this if this is a window into what the gods can do in this life i've never seen a surge like this Open the way. Get ready.
trouble ahead. Echo made promises, and then... Do you think it took them all? On your guard. Check out the ballista. Could be useful. Rook, are you looking for an excuse to fire that thing? I think it sensed us attacking the boils. It's not happening. We need to stop it. Well executed! It's down. Another sample. I think we've got enough. Yeah, let's get back to Evka and Antoine. Light gummed up the entrance. I think we can cut through.
Antoine? Yeah. Antoine? Yes. Ah, uh, yes, the blight samples. They're like nothing we've seen, or anything in the warden records. And I can... I almost hear voices in it. The gods calling the blight. I can't hear anything. But if you believe me... We knew things were bad. But if the blight's being called, the situation's more unpredictable than we thought. We need to... I give you two rain, and this is where it leads. Chasing Rook's lies. First warden... Stay away I... from the Blight and the Wardens. How many times must you be told? Do you know what happens when reality throws rules out the window? I do. You adapt your plans, or you die. Save the speech for your friends in Arlathan. Rook knew something was wrong. I can hear it in the samples. The gods... She's telling the truth. The Blight has changed. And that changes everything. It changes nothing. Your sensitivity to Blight is useful, Warden Antoine. But you've had more than one snake in your ear. No one here wants Blight to spread. We can work together. You're in no place to make offers. You tampered with a ritual that unleashed Blight. You did not know what you were doing then, and you don't now. If gods control the Blight, we need to change how we approach it. Archdemons control Blight, and we'd sense if one had risen. We'd make the sacrifices needed to fight it. But we... The Blight has increased. Now is not the time to lose focus. Wardens Evka and Antoine, are you sworn to combat the Blight? Yes, but... Then report back to Weishaupt and do so. That went poorly, even for a talk with him. It's my fault you're in trouble. Ah, he's never really liked us. So much for convincing the Wardens. We can't give you the order, but you have us. We'll keep tracking the Darkspawn and the Blight. We'll do what we can. And if we learn the God's plans, you will too. Elven god of monsters had been hard at work. She'd taken the dark spawn and made them so much worse. Now she and Elgernon had their glorious new army. The risen gods were ready. And they had just the target.